Hi guys! Here I would like to introduce a wastewater treatment system. With a capacity of 6,000 cubic meters per day. As you can see, these are the categories. It's in a centralized wastewater treatment system. This wastewater treatment system is located in Vietnam. I would like to introduce you as follows. This wastewater treatment system is designed based on Revit and Inventor software. With a capacity of 6,000 cubic meters. This is the main gate and the guard house. Next, I will introduce you. Water line into the waste treatment system. Water will go through the black HDPE pipe. Then, waste water will go into the waste separation system. The trash will be collected and dropped. Trash container. Then the water will go into the grease separation tank. Grease separation tank consists of two compartments. The first one will have an aeration system. And only aerate when necessary. The second compartment holds water. The water in the second will. Overflow to the equalization tank. With aeration system used. Perforated plastic tubes. In the air equalization tank included. Perforated air pipe systems and. Sewage submersible pump. There are four submersible sewage pumps. You can see that the pump pipeline will pump through the pipeline system. In the pipeline system, there are valves control and has one sewage flow meter. This flow meter helps the operator. It can be controlled. Wastewater flow into the system. From the wastewater equalization tank will be transferred adjustable to. tank. The pH adjustment will have pH measuring equipment. In pH adjustable tank, we use two chemicals. NAO and acid H2SO4. Use pH adjustment device to control. In the tank, there's a crude aeration system with perforated tubes. Has the effect of agitating wastewater. Then the wastewater will be overflowing to the flocculation tank. Here, the flocculation tank uses chemicals. Pack and have a agitator. Pack chemical will be applied to the end of the tube that flows into the flocculation tank. Then the water goes to the coagulation tank. Coagulation tank is similar to flocculation tank. There are also agitators and they use chemicals that are polymers. Then the water will flow into the settling pipe of the clarifier tank. There is a sludge wiper in the tank.
This is Weir system. Sludge will be concentrated at the bottom of the tank. Then it will be pumped by two pumps and sucked to the sludge tank. Wastewater will overflow from the clarifier tank to the anoxic tank. In the anoxic tank, we'll have six submersible agitators. There are two lines here. Each line corresponds to 3,000 cubic meters wastewater per day. From the anoxic tank, sewage will flow through the oxic tank. Aeration tanks have diffuser systems. Divided into many, different modules. And there are air ducts. From the top down. At the aeration tank, we've got the return pump system. Recirculation pump. including three sewage recirculation pumps. There is also an exhaust system. Waste water from the oxic tank will be flowing through the biological clarifier tank. You can get a better view of the wastewater treatment system. I will. Explain through a preliminary. In the clarifier tank, the sludge will be. Collected into tanks. There are four submersible pumps. Two systems each to submersible pumps. The sludge will be pumped into the sludge holding tank. It will be pumped from here. to the sludge press. The water will then flow to the water holding tank and through a filtration system to get to the disinfection tank. Filtration system using containing sand filter and activated carbon. These are filter pumps and sludge pumps and backwash pumps. This is a sand filter. Water that passes through the filter system will be taken to the disinfection tank. This is a treated wastewater monitoring house. Water from the tank. Pass through the filter system, or it may not pass through the filtration system. It's up to the operator. Water in the disinfection tank after. Well achieved will be taken to the observation ditch and monitored by the surveyor. Water quality monitoring. This is the operator. 
We can see the devices in here. which consists of blowers and dosing pumps, a waste storage. There's also a backup generator in here. This is a chemical pump and phase system. Each system for a module. This tank is about 2 cubic meters. I talked about the processing system. The water after treatment will be discharged to the sea and the parameters are safely monitored. Thank you for following us and hope you will. Follow the live channel to continue sharing. Other projects thank you.